Even if you've sinned, everybody sins. Every Christian on the planet sins. And the Bible said, if you say you don't, you're a liar and the truth's not in you. But committing sin and practicing sin is two different things. I practice reading the Bible. That means I have a a habit of it. I do it. That's what I do. If you commit sin or fall into sin, which there's no such thing, you just walk right on into it. The devil tempted you and you went for it and walked into it. But if you sin, well, let's, let's have a little test right quick. If you sin, does it bother you in here? When you sin, do you know that you sin? The lady told me, I don't know it. I said, now you're lying for sure. You do know it. If you sin, you know it. If you don't know it, you're not saved. I could do many things when I wasn't saved. didn't bother me. I never even thought about it. I'd do bad things, go home, sleep like a baby all night. Get up in the morning and go do it again. Why, 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 why? Because my mind wasn't renewed to the Word of God and my conscience had been seared. Did you know that in Hebrews it says the blood of Jesus was sprinkled on you and your conscience was cleaned? I don't sit around and think about filthy things all day. One guy came to me and said, I need to have a counseling with you in your office where nobody can hear. And I thought, oh no. I always know. <laughs> and he was telling me, well, I have these thoughts and he was telling me about them. I said, I don't want to hear about those stupid thoughts. He said, well, I'm supposed to share them with you. I said, who said that? You're supposed to confess them to God and He'll forgive you. I don't want to hear about your filth. I said, just repent and God will forgive you. Well, I don't feel like He'll forgive me. I said, I don't care how you feel. He will. I said, are you saved? He said, I'm not sure. I said, then you're not saved. If you're saved, you know it. If you're in between somewhere, you hope so, but you don't really know. Wish so, maybe someday. Remember I told you, I asked a guy one time if he was a Christian. He said, I'm trying to be. You know what I told him? You ever try to be a chicken? He's laughed. <laughs> what are you talking about? I said, did you ever try to be a chicken? He said, well, of course not. I said, why not? He said, well, because I couldn't be one. I said, quit trying to be a Christian. You can't be one. You have to be born again. You have to have another birth after your natural birth. You've got to be born from heaven through the acceptance of Christ. If you are born again, you will have a problem here and here with your sin. But you can put it down, put it down, shut it down, and just keep doing it till you get to the point where it don't bother you anymore. Just keep doing the same things you used to do. But you didn't know that God did not walk away from you, and He didn't even leave you. But you have hindered what God can do in your life because of sin. So we have to get it out. You know, if you have a cancer and you go to the doctor, what do they do? They say, oh, well, there's one in there, but we don't want to fool with it. To get rid of it. If you break your leg, I broke both of my ankles. You know what they did? They stretched on them and popped on them. I felt like that was going through the tor- torture. I was. It hurt really bad. But then they got some cast on there and everything was all right. We go through some things in life that are hard for us. They're harmful. They hurt us. We feel embarrassed. Uh, we don't want anybody to know about our lifestyle. Well, just get saved and give your life to Jesus. And then if you sin, ask God to forgive you and He will. A preacher said to me, I used to practice sin, but on Saturday night I would confess it and repent and get up and I'd go preach and God would save people. And then I'd do it again and He said, but there came a day, I've been doing it a long time, I went in to preach and it wasn't there anymore. Lost it. I told him, you didn't lose it, you give it up for what you wanted to do. But God will never leave you even if you sin. I'm not giving you a license to sin. You've been sinning already and you didn't have a license, so just just stop. Repent. And if you have a predominant sin, 
That is the sin that does so easily beset you, is what the Word says. It's the one you trip on every time. You can get through the booze, maybe you can get through the drugs, you, but there's something there that every time that knocks on your door, you run no say, hello, I've been missing you. You know what it is. I went to church one time and the pastor said, you won't be teaching on sin today, will you? I said, probably if I'm reading from the Bible. And he said, well, we don't like messages on sin. I said, we or you? I did, right to his face. I said, we as a church or you? He said, well, I don't like them. I said, then good, I'm going home and you can preach. And I walked out the door and he come running. But wait a minute, don't leave. I said, I'm out of here, bud. You have to recognize your faults and your problems and your sins and you have to confess them. Up-to-date repentance keeps you walking in the light of God. I can prove it to you from 1 John, the first chapter. The minute you get out of the will of God and get out of the light of God, you'll separate yourself from the church and go right back to the world and do the same things you used to do. you got to learn to keep yourself. Where? Under submission to the Word of God. Be obedient. Pray. And serve God every day. Don't play like church. Really, really, you are the church. He lives in you. So worship God and pray every day. The guy said, well, I have to work. I said, how far is it to your work? He said, about 40 minutes. I said, pray over there and pray back. That's 80 minutes of prayer a day that you don't usually get. 